Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Touch, and today we're going to take our functions.php even further by adding a new piece of functionality to our site. And it's basically just giving us more practice modifying this functions file so that we can add functionality to our site. Now, what we're going to do is register a new menu. If you have checked out your menu locations, and that's being under appearance, menus, and then menu locations, you'll see that this theme only has two menu locations. Now we have the top primary menu and the secondary menu in the left sidebar. Uh, you see that we had the secondary menu in the left sidebar and the primary menu is the one up top here. And we had a way of creating a menu before and then we added it to a location, maybe using a widget or we added it to one of these theme locations. But how do we make a new theme location? Just like we made a new widget, we wanna have a new theme location that we can drop in our menu and not have to worry about widget areas, just wanna have a menu. So let's head to our functions file and let's do what we've done before. First, we need to create a function that's going to register this new menu. We can call it function. And then uh, we want to just copy and paste this 2014 child, just like we've been doing. Um, and in here, we can just say register underscore menu. Now we can have parentheses here because it's a function, but it doesn't have any arguments. And we wrap this then in curly brackets, just like so, just like we've been doing. Now we're going to want to run the WordPress function register nav menu. So this function is register, register underscore nav underscore menu. Now the arguments that we're going to pass it is First, a string of how we want to identify this menu, uh, and it's going to be new. We can just say hyphen menu, and then we're going to have a comma. Then next, we're going to pass it in what it is going to show up as in the theme locations box on the website. So to do that, we need to type underscore, underscore, and then in parentheses, inside quotes, the string of what we want this to be called. So we can just say our new menu. Of course, you wanna give this a name that has some sort of meaning to what its general purpose is. And then we're gonna finish this line off with a semicolon. So this is our function. And just like before, these functions don't run without some sort of call to them. So we need to have a hook and we can use our hook and say add action like we're used to doing and the hook we're going to use is just init and then comma and we're going to then run this function within quotes just like we've been doing Let me wrap this all up with a semicolon and let's save this so now we have this registered and half menu we're passing it new hyphen menu and our new menu right here and now when we come to our site and we refresh you're going to see a third menu location, our new menu. So let's actually put the main nav into this our new menu and click save. Let's come to the front end of our site. And of course, this main navigation isn't showing up anywhere. Well, again, just for fun, let's just throw it down here where we had our widget area. And I'm just gonna put it directly above here. We're sort of stacking up useless things here, but it's nice to just show you this stuff outputting in a, a place that is totally neutral. And it's also a good example because it really shows you that with PHP and once you uh, have these locations set, you can just put them anywhere. So let's come back to our index.php file that we looked at last time. And we had this if dynamic sidebar then printed to display our widget. Uh, however, for the menu, we don't have to do anything that complex. Uh, we just do have to have a function called WP nav menu and pass it the name of our menu or the ID of our menu. So what we can say is uh, once again, we need a less than 
question mark PHP to open, then a question mark greater than to close the PHP. And we're just going to run this function directly. It's WP underscore nav underscore menu and then parentheses because this is a function and we're going to pass it an array and this array uh, is actually an array function so array like that with parentheses and inside of here like we did in the last video when we were doing this kind of thing we're going to have uh, the first string this string is going to be theme underscore location now we're going to have the equals greater than like this like you uh, saw in the last video or the one before that I believe and now we're going to give it the ID of our menu so uh, this is really the important part here because this is going to display whatever menu we tell it with our 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 ID so let's come back to our functions we had new hyphen menu as our ID so let's come back here Let's paste that in there and let's click save. Now I'm going to have a semicolon at the end of this line because uh, you need it. So we have this function WP nav. We're passing this array function that's taking these two strings. And this will now display, if we refresh, our main menu uh, in this new area. Of course, if we come here and say, hey, we actually want the footer menu there instead refresh there's the footer menu so this is going to show whatever you have in your theme locations and this can be really useful especially if you're building a theme right if you're building a theme from scratch you're probably going to need to add menu areas and menu locations or if the theme you've downloaded just doesn't have the right locations for you you can now throw menus in wherever you want in your site so as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions or comments, hit us up Facebook or Twitter or pretty much anywhere. Let us know what you want to see. We'd love to hear from you. So keep watching and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.